So no, over the past few years after my husband died, I was like panning mode. We was starting the process to get a home, so I couldn't do it by myself. You 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 never find yourself in this late in life. Literally have to start all over. The board met yesterday, okay. and I am so happy to say that they have approved. <laughs> oh <my> God! <laughs> oh <God. laughs> I love it. Yes. Oh my God. Daddy was here to see this. He'd be so happy. I'm willing to sacrifice whatever I need to do so I can have my own home. Know. You know, it's I am so happy for you guys. I can't wait to see your journey unfold. Oh, I can't you know, wait to go through We're it. gonna be there with you along the way. Um, this is gonna be yours. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm gonna And being a homeowner is something that I wanted to do, but just couldn't figure out how to get to that point. When I got the opportunity with Habitat, I was like, this could work. I think moving into this house, I can grieve finally. And I think this will be a moment to where I can move forward. Like I always wanted a place for grandkids because I like when they come visit me, they come to grandma house. So I'm excited for that. And I have counter space. First thing I'm gonna make is a pie. I always want to make a pie and put it by the window so it can cool off. I set a goal and I accomplished it. So I don't have to be no six-figure person to be a homeowner. I can be just who I am and what I'm doing to be a homeowner. I thank and appreciate those people who made it possible. I love you, Ty. You have a home, girl. You got a home. My husband, Jeff, taught me to live life. And I'm going to live it. You ready to go home? Okay. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs>